My philosophy of filmmaking is a lot like my philosophy of life. I believe that life is an illusion. I say it all the time. Life is an illusion. The things that we have to deal with are an illusion. The stuff that we face in our daily lives, the stuff that gets us mad, the stuff that makes us happy, the stuff that you know makes us frustrated, or the things that we want, or and the things we don't have, and the things we think we need that that we think we can't live without. It's all an illusion. What I'm doing is trying to record the illusion by creating a mock documentary or a mock life. So I want people to experience themselves as a joke. I like to think of myself as a kind of a go-to kind of guy for pretty much anything. If he needs a tuna fish sandwich, I'm there. You know, you, you want pickles on that? You want pickles on that tuna fish sandwich? That's me right there, dicing up the pickles and um, arranging them appropriately. Stefan is, is incredibly supportive. He really has a good sense of, of where I am in the moment and then he sort of takes that and shapes it. One good thing about Stefan's movies, they're short. The dry cleaning, I do the dry cleaning. I um, uh, He's got a certain foot issue that we don't have to get into, but um, that usually occurs before we get... He has this girlfriend. He has this girlfriend, Mariana. He's just really good at, at, at reading my moods and um, just, you know, encouraging me to go in, in the direction that I already sort of seemed to be going in. She was, uh, had no problems at all working under me or under any of the uh, various professors that we have here at the school. Stefan's really commanding, you know, everything, it's, he's got to be in control, he's got to be in charge, and your opinion means nothing. And if he doesn't get what he wants, it just, it ruins the mood. Collaboration is uh, essentially the, uh, the act of a whole bunch of people getting together and doing what, what, what one person wants them to do. I've never met a person actually with so little potential who thought so highly of himself. Stefan will pick up that boom mic and he'll know exactly what to do with it. And I think that's what makes him such an attractive person to work for, especially for me. You know, I'm, I'm trying to learn everything that I can. And, you know, I, I've learned a couple things. You know, I, th I think I know where certain things go. I've never had so many orgasms with anybody in my entire life, always with the orgasms. Um, and he was just never satisfied unless you had like 46 of them. I had to like drink Gatorade beforehand because, well. He gets in there, you know, and he gets his hands all over it. And he, he knows how to adjust every little knob and every little, rotate every little wheel and uh, push every button and squeeze every little ball. The first time that we were actually intimate, other than, you know, a little hand-holding, a little kissing, um, <laughs> I think he was just a little bit more taken aback than he expected. There are a few things about me he didn't expect to find, um, and he was a little bit freaked out about that. I mean, a lot of guys are, but it really didn't take him that long to get over it. I guess he's an eager learner and willing to try anything once. If I ever needed him for anything, he would be glad to do that, to do whatever I needed. You hungry? Yeah. Sure. No, no, no. The, um... Uh, yeah, a little. Mariana? Yeah. Hungry? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Michael? Yes. Yeah? Um, could you... Should we order something? Yeah, let's, let's get some Chinese. Great, yeah. Okay. Could, would you mind running out to... Oh, no, not at, all. not at something? all. I just signed a deal. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, we're, I'm about to sign a deal. Whether there's a... There's a we've, we're talking... I'm waiting for a phone call. About... Um, from Miramax for my next five ideas. They want my next five ideas. So, uh, so they want the, uh, the next idea that I have, and then the, uh, the idea after that, and then um, three more. Thanks. Thank you. 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 Th
next page. We just finished shooting um, uh, the, the Runaway Teen um, movie where I portray a, a, a runaway teenager. And actually, I mean, I was really flattered. I'm only 15. What can I have a stuffed pink bunny anymore? You know, what the fuck? We essentially want to do no. discover the humor in the situation of the runaway teen. Right. Now, a lot of people think of this as sort of a serious, tragic, you know, kind of a social epidemic. Uh, but what we were looking for was the laughs. In teens running away. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Drug abuse, uh, prostitution. Right. So sexual abuse. Just... The irony is is really where the movie rests. I think a mock documentarist invites the viewer to see himself and laugh. What do you think? I agree. <laughs> oh. Pretty much uh, what he said. Mm -hmm. We are a team. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are we soft? Yes. I was thinking about that. We are going on this trip together. One for all, all for one, it's all three of us. We're doing this together. Yeah. You'll see. Yeah. You'll see. Oh. 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 Damn it! Hello?